Don't worry, Ruby, and you know it. After last week's, like, beautiful Nubian love fest that I captured... Yeah. No, you brought her here for the wrong reasons. Rach, you thought she'd be gone in two episodes, but guess what? What's happening between them is real, and that in itself is a beautiful story worth telling. Okay, so maybe it'll be her. How? Will you stop? Seriously, shut up. <laughs> and that's a clip from an upcoming episode of Lifetime's Unreal. If you haven't been watching this dark soap opera, you're missing out on one of the year's most talked about shows. In its first season, Unreal won a Peabody Award for its portrayal of the producers who will do whatever it takes to get ratings for their reality dating show. And joining us now is Jeffrey Boyer Chapman, who plays Jay, a producer with the fictional show Everlasting Welcome, Jeffrey. It's so great Hi, to have you Hi, thank you so much for having me. I want to start with looking at Jay. He's mm. a producer on mm. this reality show, but is he cut from the same cloth as his colleagues? He seems to be a little more conflicted. Sometimes. Yeah, yeah, he certainly is. He certainly walks that, that in, in that gray world, whereas his counterparts seem to be much more black and white about things and far less emotional about it. Um, I Does, think do that, you think that holds him back a little bit in that world? A little bit, a unfortunately. Little bit, yeah. I think that, yeah, when emotion comes into play and you start to care about your contestants and care about the suitor that you're there to produce and to right. get great sound bites out of and great uh, great footage for television it certainly can uh, can put a, a monkey wrench in the, in the in the process now this fictional show everlasting yeah. is a reality dating show yeah. correct and how do you feel that the show is dealing now with issues of race and class? Is that interesting? So interesting and so important and so timely and uh, necessary. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I feel like it's uh, uh, it's uh, uh, unreal and everlasting is doing something that no other reality dating co competition television show has done, having a black suitor this season. Um, I mean, many look at it as revolutionary. Um, me personally, I look at it as something that's kind of a no-brainer. Right. You know. How is it dealt with on the show? Is it dealt with as just this is revolutionary or just this is another contestant. It depends on who you're talking to right, through right. the eyes of uh, Rachel, uh, who's played by Sherry Appleby, who you just saw in that clip. Um, she thinks she's definitely saving the world and doing something so revolutionary, but the story that uh, she's telling and that the network wants to tell is one that's kind of like a stereotypical depiction of uh, of, of black men in America, one that's not very uh, positive or that truthful, to be honest, yeah. where the way that Jay comes at it, he really wants to, um, you know, uplift and, um, and be an ally for his his brothers and sisters of color and to tell their story in a very positive light which hasn't really been done on previous seasons of Everlasting and certainly not on most reality television not shows. Not on mainstream reality uh, television shows. No. How do you feel about that, that the reality shows, you know, Bachelor, Bachelorette, they have not entered the world of diversity yet. Yeah, you know what's funny? It's something that I had never even really thought about prior to this, prior to shooting the season of Unreal. I don't really watch those shows, so it's not something that was really on the forefront of my mind. But now that I'm aware of it. Did you watch them for research at all? Um, not I really. I did watch a, a few episodes for research. I watched the uh, Juan Pablo season <laughs> of The Bachelor, and it was like just like such a beautiful train wreck that I couldn't stop watching. It was I think that's why people get hooked. It was it's really good. Aspect. It's really good. Absolutely. Now, after working on Unreal and uh, playing a producer who is constantly uh, manipulating these characters and you know feeding them uh, you know little pieces of information here or there which may or may not be truthful in order to get certain uh, reactions yes. out of them for yes. for good footage I can I, that's the only thing I can see when I watch these shows now I can see um, you know you can uh, see the behind the scenes machinations oh going gosh, on right? absolutely I... yeah little pieces where the producers have gotten their dirty little hands and their sound bites have <laughs> so been it's ruined taken for you context. right you can't it's, actually, right. I'm over it there's still other realities shows I love and I get totally lost in them. RuPaul's Drag Race is right. wonderful and I can watch that endlessly but the That's dating done. shows. So yeah. what is what is next for you after Unreal? Are you totally absorbed with, with the show right now? We got picked up for season three. Congratulations. So, yeah, thank you. Yeah, so Fantastic. we'll be turning Yeah, we'll be returning to Vancouver to That's shoot uh, the next ten episodes of season three. And do you have time for anything else? I do. Well, uh, I actually just uh, with uh, the Brahmin Garcia Braun casting studio in Los Angeles, we just started um, the Jeffrey Boyer Chapman Scholarship for LGBT actors of color. Congratulations. Thank you. Jeffrey, so, thank, thank you so much for being with us today. Pleasure. Thank a you pleasure. so much.